So lesson one, the introduction. Before we even go into this chapter, I want to run through the underlying philosophy of all SQL tuning. Because for SQL tuning, there is no magic recipe for tuning method. It's the scientific method. You begin by finding out, first step, what is Oracle doing? You've got to work out what is Oracle doing to your code? How is it executing the code? Having worked out what's actually happening, the second step you have to do, work out why is Oracle doing it that way? That's the second step. Why is Oracle executing your code in that fashion? Third step, you think to yourself, is there a better way? Is there a better way of running the code? And even, is there a better way of doing it? You know, maybe you look at the order in which tables are being joined. What if you join them in a different order? Perhaps you look at the join method. How are the tables being joined? Perhaps there's a better alternative. Perhaps you think of restructuring the SQL. Maybe I could replace that correlated subquery by factoring it out into a with clause. So you think of alternative formulations of your SQL, alternative ways of running the code. And then if there is a better way, you've got to test it. Is there a better way? Test. Try alternatives. And finally, how do you push the cost-based optimizer towards the better way, if indeed it exists? And those are what I think of as the four basic steps. It's the scientific method. Anyone can do it. You make observations. You construct a hypothesis that explains those observations. And then you do a series of tests. And if the test proves that your observations, your hypothesis was correct, OK. Push the optimizer towards it. You solve the problem. If your tests show that your better way is not, in fact, better, throw it away. Construct another possibility. It's an iterative process. And the end result of this is you have to study the Oracle optimizer and see what's going on. And that's the way the course is pretty much structured. We have the first few chapters are all about what is Oracle doing? Creating reading execution plans, using SQL trace. What's Oracle actually doing? Then why is it doing it? Think about the CBO. Think about your indexes. Think about possible access paths, transformations. And then we'll be moving on from that. It naturally falls out. How can you push Oracle towards a better technique?